<laughs> my boy had two killers in his match you get. Can you push those tiles over where Mittens was sleeping? <laughs> Annoying. The terror of the deep. All right. Darth Mittens. Psst. Okay. <laughs> He's like, boy, what you want? <laughs> So I guess on your turn, load and unload, rearrange, jettison, play cards. So everybody draw four cards after you shuffle your thing. One, two, three, four. And then you got the icons at the bottom of the cards as extra things that you're doing. Yeah, okay. And then move, must set your sails first because all of our sails are set at zero right now. Um. Uh, buy advances and or resolve encounters up to two a turn. Metan! Use abilities on play cards. <laughs> Use abilities on play cards. Then clean up phase, then off turn level up. During opponent's turn. Choose any one card in your hand and level it up. Quack? Alright, we'll just go through it one, one at a time. Gameplay. Players take turns one after the other. Your turn consists of two phases. Main phase is where all you, you do all your shit. Clean up is where the wrong. When your turn is over, you will level up a card in your hand while your opponents are taking their turns. So I guess you just do it once on the end of your turn. As long as you got the stuff to do it with. No. Oh. You will level up a card in your hand okay. for free. Though I think there are ways to go faster on leveling up where you, yeah, if you have what it is. All righty. Let's see. Hey yo, hello, chat. Sir Austin. We're gonna be playing a pirate game. Hopefully there's, it's good. There's so few good pirate <coughs> games out there, and we're hoping that this one is the one. So let us play. I bet you that's Joe's camera. <laughs> Let's see. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That was the adjustment you, you had, already you had know. a fine too on, on your eyes previously. But it's pretty good. Let's just go a few over. Chroma key. There's a. So what are we at? I can't even read that. 382. 382. And then it, it's up or down. Can you? Okay, you can see it right there, right? Yeah. So let's. Oh. No, <laughs> Magic Man. Magic Man, Thank what's you. going on? What? It's getting worse. Oh, it's getting worse she when we do that. So, she will be calm. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Right there. Right there. Yep. Nice. Okay. Miss Lloyd, hello. Gameplay. During your main phase, you may perform as many of the actions listed as you want. Okay, so it was uh, your turn first, yes? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's try our best to play play a turn, right? So uh, let's do a main phase. During your main phase, Ray, you may perform any as many of the actions listed as you want on this little reference card. Ramming speed. Um, <laughs> I want to fight. Actions can be taken in any order with the exception of moving your ship, which obviously requires you to set your sails first. Otherwise, unless otherwise noted, you may do these actions as many times as you want. So, so the first things: uh, load, unload, rearrange, jettison coins, cargo. Any time your ship is on the harbor board, it is considered in harbor. That's where you're at. You may move cargo from your dock tile onto available hold spaces on your ship. So notice how you have one cargo. You could take that cargo and put it onto your shipboard, right? That's that would be loading, right? And I think that's a good idea. So yeah, no, put and you put it in on the ship. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't know which. I, I guess yeah, you're right actually. It has to be. It on has one to of be on either ones. the four or the three because it can hold either four or three until you start upgrading your ship. And if you want to see a somebody's board. I will try to show you. I did. <laughs> my board. You're too late.
if y'all would take the pirate f uh, flag indicator, and if you want to use this to help poke out that little thing, because it's really hard to push out. So it looks like you load it first. Ow. Are you okay? Yeah, I'd give blood for the cause. <laughs> uh, and then I think I think maybe set sails, right? You can only do this once per turn and must do so before moving. Count up the number of sail icons you have on your ship and on cards you play. Place the cube on the sails track of your ship board on the appropriate space. So how fast can you go, Ray? Well, right now you can go two. All of us can go two because if you look at the cardboard, there's two sails icon. So if you were setting sail and you only wanted to go two, then you would just move your cube but over to two. He has cargo on his sail. That don't mean anything, right? Yeah, it does. Oh, Joe. Before knows. you set sail, you can technically move. Your yeah, you could set sail and then load. Because if you have, you a can only load at port though. Or on the island. No, no, no. Well. He's got a. He's right. He's. He has to load shit from the harbor right here, right? Because ain't Sea of Thieves, so man. You can't just, like, harpoon so, shit. So technically, I guess everybody has one sail if you're fixing to load stuff onto your sail. So he can move one. In addition to any of the cars, he's like, well, I want to move two. You know what I mean? And in order for you to move two, you look at your hand of cards here and see if any of them well, have can do a it, You can do sail it in any the, order, right? Because that's what the card says. You can do it in any order. And because you can do it in any order, he could technically set sails, then load. Yeah, that you're right. I think so. Because that's what this says in any order. You're right. So he can do. So he can yeah. have two full sails and load and be fine. Interesting. Yeah. I think that's right. All right. So you're going to set your sails. Uh, count up the number of sails. Place the cube on the sails. Remember, at the moment you set your sails, if a hold on your ship has at least one... Uh, Barrel or coin on it, you do not get that sail icon. If a hold on your ship. When you are setting sail from the harbor board or from an island you control, you may count sails on holds with barrels or coins. Effectively, since loading and unloading could be done multiple times on your turn, you are essentially loading everything, setting your sails, then reloading everything. This does not work at islands you do not control since you cannot load from such islands. I don't understand else. Uh, the purple player starts their turn in an island they control. So they may use the sails on their ship even though they are covered with uh, barrels. Effectively, they unload, set their sails, then load again. They set their sail track to three. It's what the guy in the video was talking about. No, it's yeah, like, it's, it's, it's not basically what you what y'all were saying. Yeah, it's not thematic. It's just like a board game shorthand. We just don't want to th think about it because, mm -hmm. like, otherwise, it's just like, all right, take everything off, set the sails, put it back, and then back and forth, the back and forth. But it's mm -hmm. like it lets you do that because it makes more. It makes it more fun. Okay, cool. So, uh, all right, do you want to move your ship? So there's uh, these these three cards that I put out there. Those are like little encounters, right? Um, in the base game, only encounters, the only encounters are merchant ships, which are resolved in one of two ways, trade or attack. Um, oh, we should maybe play with <coughs> one of those expansions because that's what gives flavor to the game. But okay, flavor. let's just, let's just check the base game here. So you can go over and you can buy advancements. If there is an advancement or encounter at your ship's location, you may buy that advancement or resolve that encounter. So that's what those are. Over there on the main board, um, there, there's a merchant ship to enca encounter. There's an advancement, an additional sail, or there's an advancement. Uh, looks like a wheel, a barrel, cross with a, um, a wheel white... Barrel. A white card symbol. What is that white card symbol with the wheel on it? Number of wheels on this card. Yeah. Okay. So just various advancements. And they cost three barrels each, right? Is that what that says at the top? I, can't. I think that's what that says at the top. Yeah. So we can't do any of that stuff yet. Till we get upgraded and ready to go yeah. with. Yeah. I was getting tricky with that shit. <laughs> Man, where's the fucking ale storm? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to have us go each through one turn, and then I'll start the stream. That way we kind of at least have some general idea of what we're doing. So, uh, is Ray first? 
the fuck is this? Oh, if my Mittens didn't finish eating. <laughs> my dad. I got you cargo. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so you loaded. You set your sails. Uh, now you probably want to move and see if you can lay down some, maybe an influence on an island. Cause I, so this is a 4X pirate game. So you've got your exploration. You've got your, you know, battles, uh, your extermination. Uh, you've got your exploitation, which is like, I guess this is area control. You're placing influence cubes down on the various islands to own them, I suppose. Whoever has the most cubes um, is the owner, unless there's more empty spaces than the number of cubes that you have, then you're not quite the owner yet. It's the neutral that owns it um, until you have the most cube slots filled and um and then i know i forgot what the other four uh, what the other x and four is so yeah what else would you like to do well unfortunately i can't move diagonally because i would you, love you, correct. you can move all to oh, just one of only out beginning. of the port the very first tiles adjacent to your starting time yeah. Yeah. so i was trying to see what the difference was between the merchant ship you or can actually go to any of these three because all of these spaces count as adjacent to all of those but then uh, there is no diagonal movement. Um, in right, the, once the we get future. out there. All right, then I'll start going here first. Okay, cool. Tell us, uh, where did your ship go here? Uh, what is that place we called? We went to the Spire. The Spire. Okay, uh, so then you, you, you moved. Um, I like to move it, move it. Move your ship. You Make may move your ship a number of boards it. by moving the cube on your sail track to the left one space for each board you want to move to. So move the cube uh, to the left because you've set sail for one. Yeah. And you may not move the cube off the end of the track. And once your cube reaches the leftmost space, you cannot move any further this turn. Um, if you stop on an unexplored board, you must explore it. Uh, but we've already done that. Okay, so what else do you want to do? So then, um, you loaded, you set sails, you moved. How do I pick up that uh, advancement? Sale? Buy advancement or resolve encounters. So at the top of the advancement card is how much it costs. Ah, three Let coin. me zoom in here, and that's a three on that. So if you want that, you're going to have to pay three uh, to gain one more sail. Uh, and then you would, I guess, up that, upgrade that on any of your crew, and that crew knows how to move around the sails a little bit better, right? But but you don't have three what? Three barrels is what it's asking for? Yeah. Or oh, three I monies? I thought is it's that three, three coins. Monies? Yeah, I think it's three monies. And we have uh, fifteen monies, so I think you can buy it. Um, you 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 have access to your monies. It's just you're trying to keep your money value hidden from other people, right. unless you're forced to reveal how much money you have in order for an achievement. So, you can buy that if you'd like. We'll take it as a petty cash. Okay, cool. So, uh, Ray is purchasing the uh, sale here. Now, I don't know exactly what, what we do. Let me read it here. Advancements can be bought and then are sleeved into your sailor cards, improving that card. Encounters uh, have a hidden information on the back. In the base game, the only encounters are merchant ships, which acquired are also advancements. Um, in advancements. To buy an advancement, your ship must be in the same location. You got that. You must spend barrels oh. from your ship equal to the cost indicated. If you do not have enough barrels on your ship, you cannot buy the advancement. Once you have paid for the advancement, place it face up nearby. You will sleeve it during your cleanup during phase. During the cleanup phase, okay. Okay, well, so it is barrels. So I guess you gotta go and buy so more barrels? To, yeah. How do you get barrels in the game? Do we know? Uh, mm. Yes, we're about we don't to really know. Do we? Maybe this is what we get when we resolve the encounter. We like, don't get to buy so shit. What is all that? The, all that shit on the? Let me zoom in with the camera here. So in this island, the spire, uh, you've got all these icons at the bottom there, right? So, uh, play cards, unload encounters, clean up. Uh, choose to be in pirate or mercantile mode. Uh, discard or draw. 
bows. Mr. Pee Wee Tom. <laughs> Can you place any influence down? Uh, so the influence. I don't know how much I start. With. Is going to be this. Uh, that that little flag with the um, square cube on it. Oh, so I'd have to Looks play like that card when I do it. Yeah, play the card. Oh, well, I got a buccaneer that can do that. Okay, buccaneer. Buck that, baby. S buck that. <laughs> so you can place an influence down, and let me see if where the where the track is and, and how exactly you put it there. Um, so learning how to play here, move your ship, well, he did that, he did advancements, using an ability of a played card. Cards that you have played from your hand may have one or more abilities. Using an ability is an action that you could perform during your main phase, which could be immediately after the card is played or later in your turn. Using an ability is optional. Uh, each ability can only be used once per turn. Battle abilities can only be used during battles. Um, see page 14 for a full uh, on the different types and how they work. Page 14. Card abilities. Uh, if a card has more than one ability separated by a green, you can, be you can use both. By a red, either or. I think my Buccaneer only has one level one power. Okay, so description influence. of abilities. Place influence. That's what that flag thing is. This ability can be only be used when your ship is on an ocean board with an island. Got it. Uh, place a cube of your color onto an empty slot. A. Oh, these are the empty slots. So there's only three empty slots on this island. Nice, Ray. So you've, you've quickly uh, got one of them. Um, I peed on it. It's you, mine. <laughs> you you pee peed on it. Uh, if there are no empty slots, choose a slot occupied by an opponent's cube and replace that cube with your own. <laughs> Flick it. Uh, return the opponent's cube back to them. Uh, note, if an ability like the Buccaneer gives you multiple influence cubes with multiple icons, you must use all of the influence cubes possible from that ability before doing anything else. You cannot use some now and then go somewhere else and use them later, blah, blah, blah. After placing a cube, check to see if you take control of the island. If you do, place an additional cube in the permanent cube area. The permanent cube area is this uh, gray area. So it's like a historical thing. Like, oh, hey, you know, Ray founded this island, you know. So it's let's see. Boy, island. Let's see if you. <laughs> Oi, bro. Okay, island control. Uh, each island has a number of slots for cubes. Okay, so you are considered to control an island if you meet both of these conditions. You have more cubes on the island than any other player. So you did that. However, you did not meet the second one. You have more cubes than the number of empty slots. So empty slots uh, is two. You have right. one. I need to throw another one if down. If you throw too. another one down, then you will, you will get a permanent cube on the <laughs> island's history. So I'm going to fuck over there and take another island. It's, it's mine. <laughs> mine. Uh, and then, guys, if you're wondering how to do barrels, it's a production symbol. It's a gear symbol. I'm not sure if any of you have gear symbols. Yes. I do not. Uh, this ability allows you yep. to produce at an island. <gasps> you don't need to be, you don't need to control or be on an ocean board with an island to produce there, but you will generally want to choose an island that you control or plan to soon control so that you can load the stuff that you produce because you'd be producing for somebody else if they pick it up. When an island produces, place a number of gold or barrels uh, depicted on the bottom right of the board uh, onto the island. So, yeah, ocean boards depicting open seas boost the production costs on adjacent islands. When an island produces, it produces one additional gold for each adjacent open sea space with a gold pointing at it. Island production is also increased by one gold and one barrel if there is an outpost on an island. Because you can also uh, build buildings on islands. So you can construct buildings. This building, this uh, ability allows you to construct one building of your choice. There's forts, garrisons, and uh, buildings. Outposts, garrisons, and forts. Okay. All right, Ray. So um, let's uh, continue doing your turn. Is there anything else that you would like to do? Yes. Are there any cards on you? You said your if hand? I play a gear, uh -huh. I can produce. Yeah. That ability allows you to produce at an island. So what we do is when an island produces, place a number of gold or um, barrels as depicted in the bottom right of the board onto the island. So E, where is E? 
E is that symbol right there. So this one will allow you to produce one gold. Oh. So are you producing? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Let's get so that bag. This ability allows you to produce on an island. And okay, so boom. Now it's not loaded yet because you have to take the load action, which is what you can do, right? Yeah. Load, unload, rearrange, jettison. Yeah. Because you can take that as many times as you want, right? I think if only if I play. No, I think you. I think you can load and load as many times That's as you want. Yeah, because you know. it's still during. As even long as it's during my even phase. when it's not your fucking turn, you can do shit like that. The only time you can't do it as is when you fight. Yeah, as long as there's nobody in that area. Because you can be like, oh, you attack uh -huh. me? Fuck you. It's in the ocean now. Eat a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you want to come get some of this? Unload it into the sea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it goes into the Pocket general sand. supply, I yeah. think, because <laughs> it, it floats it, off. It trashes it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It sinks to the bottom. Arg. <laughs> okay. Okay, so if I so did so that. so yeah, you did that, and you might as well load that gold. So grab the gold. Wait, yeah, there's more. There's more. Mass. Yeah. Do these guys produce the barrels when I play them? Yeah. So let me read that. Only in a harbor, I think. Um, so you wouldn't want to do it first. Well, about to say yeah, because yeah, if I get three barrels, I can immediately see. purchase that sale. So gaining and spending coins and cards. When something tells you to pay or gain, it will indicate where those are gained to and paid from. If an anchor is shown. Uh, is there an anchor on him? Should be. Not until I get to level two on this one. No. No. Is there an anchor on the barrel? Take a look at the barrel again. Krish! Holy oh, shit, yeah. Krish. You just... What's going on, Sing along. Krish? Sing along. Paid for my base game. Not even game. the lyrics. <laughs> it was a one-time thing. <laughs> <laughs> wee -wee yeah, wee one, one take greatness, man. How you doing, Krish? <laughs> He's our man. <laughs> wee, wee, wee. That's my favorite part. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the wee 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 is. It's supposed. a solo. It's a solo, man. Oh, yeah. A guitar solo. So, yeah. So, what you do is you take one uh, barrel from the general supply and place it on your dock tile. So, that uh, circle there. You would have done it first. Yeah, I would have loaded it up and then. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh yeah, because we're learning. Again. Okay, yeah, because yeah, we're yeah, yeah. So the first thing he would have done is set your sails. So, yes. Then set my sails for two. Then produce the barrels. Make sure then I load the barrels. The barrels then, then move the thing. Then, then go buy the there, thing. Then produce then the produce thing. Produce my influence. Yeah. Collect the gold. Buy the sails. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of doing that. And that's why with me going first, all you guys know what to oh, do this properly. Is a fake yeah, anyway. that's why we're we're just kind of going through the first. Time. Exactly. Yeah. So it doesn't now matter because I would card. take these, I would buy those, which gets rid of those. Yeah, you get the card. I would get the gold. I load it up, of course. I get the sale. Mm -hmm. yep. And I put it in the, any not, one of... Not yet. Let's right, it has to go side, off to the side. And but then during your cleanup phase. It's going to go into whichever yeah. one of these cards I want because it's a middle space card. Yeah. Sweet. You can keep one unsleeved if you want. But you have to. But then that would be silly because when I pull it again, yeah. I need that extra movement. <laughs> but I'm assuming, unless there's something that tells you you can't move it from one card to another. So once it's locked in somewhere. Yeah. All right. Uh, so keep uh, going with your turn okay, if you would so like. Have, if you would. If yeah, you're done. I have one more movement. Okay. So I will laterally shift. To here, to, to the, the devil's, devil's backbone. Oh, will you stop? <laughs> that comes later. <laughs> okay, Spice. are you done? Uh, yeah, because there's nothing I can do here. I played out all my cards. All right, cleanup phase. Perform the following steps in order: refill advancements and encounters for each empty advancement encounter space on the ocean board. Draw a card from that box corresponding to that row and place it face so up on the table. One there. Don't look at the back of the cards, by the way. That one has <gasps> nothing on the back, but there's going to be the Oh, you guys found free booty. You're welcome. <laughs> booty. Um, oh, yeah. Choose to be in pirate or mercantile mode. You're currently in mercantile mode. Uh, mercantile mode is default. Ships not in pirate mode or in mercantile mode. In this phase, if your ship is not in a harbor, you may choose to put your ship into pirate mode. You do this by adding the pirate mode token to the space in between the front and the middle cells of a ship miniature. Uh, ships in harbor must be in mercantile mode. So if you end your turn in harbor, you have to remove your pirate token. Do you want to be in pirate or mercantile? 
Uh, we'll stay merchants for now. Okay. Being in pirate mode is a good way to protect islands from your opponents. It's because uh, it locks them down. They have to fight you first. It's also a good way to possibly get into battles if that's what you're looking for. The downside is that if an opponent ends their move in your space, you must battle them, even if you're not prepared for it. Um, and blah, blah, blah. So, oh, cool. Well, then I probably should have... Um, no, yeah, y'all ain't I've making me dump my shit overboard. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um... So then it goes to lose any unspent sails. So go, I nope. think, my go all the way down what to I, zero. What I did, my second Set move your in. sail track to zero. Yep. Sleeve advancements. If you uh, haven't set any, if you have set aside any advancements, you may now sleeve them, sleeve them using the following rules. You can only sleeve onto a card you played this turn. You cannot sleeve onto a card in your hand. You cannot sleeve an advancement such that it would be covered or be covered by an advancement already on the card. And cards can have an, a maximum of three advancements. Right, upper, middle, and lower. Yeah. It is allowed to sleeve multiple advancements onto the same card at the same time. Uh, and you cannot use the ability of advancement you sleeve on that same turn that you sleeve it. That we just got. That you just got. Uh, sleeving an advancement is optional. You may choose to set it aside. However, at the end of this step, you can only have a maximum of one set aside advancement uh, and must sleeve the rest. If you have multiple advancements you cannot sleeve, you must set aside all those you cannot sleeve, uh, but must sleeve any you can. Okay. And then finally, discard and draw. Place all the cards that you played this turn into your discard pile. Any cards that you did not play uh, stay in your hand. Then, draw cards from your deck. When drawing cards, if you ever run out of cards <laughs> in your deck and need to draw more, shuffle all the cards in your discard pile. Your normal hand limit is six, and your draw amount is four. Therefore, if you have zero, one, or two cards left in your hand, you would draw four cards. However, if you have three or more left in your hand, you simply draw until you have six. God. But your draw amount is four. Your hand limit can be increased by some game effects. Your draw amount can be temporarily rarely increased with bonus draw effects. Okay. Alex. C. I get four barrels. I'm going to play four dudes. I get four barrels. I go up to six barrels. I'm going to set my sails and move up to two. I'm going to load up all my barrels. I'm going to put three here and three there. And then I'm going to move to... Hey, fucking barrels you got, god damn it. I'm going to go to there. Yes. And then I'm going to buy that for three barrels. So I'm going to give you three invisible barrels I have for that one. Three and I'll get barrels. this with this turn. Uh, I have three barrels left out of six. And then I'm going to move to there uh, <laughs> and explore that tile. Okay. Uh, and then... Does this get a card immediately? Or no, it doesn't get anything. No. Once you explore, you, I don't think you can explore again. Can you can't explore right, a new title. That might, no, I think that does have an advancement. Uh, put a card on that. I'm going to buy that motherfucker too. <laughs> mine. I don't know what it does, but it's mine now. Jesus Christ. Uh, you've played this game before? No. Have you played <laughs> Mystic Veil before? Oh, this is nothing. This is not even close. This is just... Not even close. No. I mean, it's got the cool card things. I like the card aspect to it, but. Okay. Uh, now so I've used up all my sales. I got one barrel left. I got two advancements. I can't put any influence down because I didn't get any of that cool shit. And then I'm done. All right. If you will put another uh, number two. Number two, yep. I'm going to the way in. Number one, I order you to take a number two. It's on this side. <laughs> so this is a cannon. If this card has at least three cannon deal fire to all enemy ships within one <gasps> space, not in the harbor, it costs three barrel. Yeah. Uh, damn. Okay, so, and then Alex's turn, you know how to do. Yeah, I'm gonna the put my face. Do this onto this thing. It's gonna be OJ pretty soon. <laughs> this guy into who? Who there? Do we replace this one or not? Which is refill advancement. We just did that yeah. one. Oh, well, we need once, to refill that once one. Once he's done, so actually, this one. Uh, when he explored that one, I think that one went down, and then we replaced this one. Right, it has one to be one, one off that row. Now, let me go through the actual thing of exploration, just in case there's anything that he would get. So, setting sails, moving... So, if you stop on an unexplored board, which is what he did, he must explore. Flip the board over, draw the top advancement from that box associated with that row, and place it face up. This ends that particular move action, but you may take subsequent move actions later. 
However, you may not explore more than one ocean board in the same turn. Thus, any further move actions you make cannot result in you stopping on another unexplored board. Yeah, you can move through up. it, but you couldn't stop on it. That's yeah. what video guy said. Okay. In case, I mean, it's corner Casey, but just in but case. But you may not explore more than one ocean board. Yeah. But there's only one left, so once we find that one, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Yeah, okay, two um, to go. Joe. Okay, setting sail. Joe is setting sail. You want to load, unload anything first? Other Joe Well, I got to set sail first. You don't got to, but you should. Well, I should, because I go faster, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was trying to trick him. <laughs> this game don't count. <laughs> yes, it does. The the very first practice okay. turn that we're about to restart the game. We're not going to restart the game. No, I'm we're just doing one turn. Stream. We're one just doing one, one turn, turn off. Oh, I thought we were starting the stream. Over. Okay, so I get even though people can see us, I get two extra barrels, so I have five. Excellent, two extra barrels. You have five barrels to start um, with. Let's go here. And I guess we can do. You know, if you want to yeah. uh, have a. Uh, or those are barrel. those different? Or they the same? Those are the same. Put it over there, John. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you guys get those. We I get didn't know they were. Yeah, we get the fancy ones. <laughs> yeah, we get the crappy <laughs> ones. <laughs> yeah. Take this one. These are actually boxes, but just for your purposes, they're. Okay. I don't know. I think it's just a uh, denomination. I'm gonna so oh. this is either three or five. We'll, we'll make it up as we go along. I'm going to buy this. You're going to buy what? Oh, you're here? Yep. Okay, so you're gonna buy that. That's uh, that's gonna cost you two. Okay, that's the two that I didn't pick up. That's the two you didn't pick up. Here you go. Okay, then I'm gonna uh, do an influence here and get you're my cube there. One cube there. You gonna drop a dump? <laughs> you gonna drop a deuce? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And I could produce, right? Mm -hmm. Do, I don't know. Can you? Yeah, I got the gear. Okay, then you can produce. Okay. produce. And so you're producing at this place, and that is two barrels. Okay, I got so it. You put the two barrels there, and then I guess load it. Fine, I produce two barrels. <laughs> yeah. This fish. <laughs> Joe? All right. Uh, I think that's it. I already used all my cards and all my movement, and I already bought everything. Okay, so then you would uh, sleeve the card into one of those that you've played, and you would replace that one, and then... Replace this one. And then you draw four cards. Make sure you're respecting your hand limit of six. All right, so much like everybody else, set sail to two, load my cargo. Um, I got a ton of uh, crew here, so I guess I'm getting three more barrels. Oh, damn. And loading that on to my ship. Three more barrels. So you can hold four barrels here, and you can hold three barrels here. Um, so with that fully loaded, it's time to set sail. And I guess I will come over to Dare Tearful. Dare Tearful. Dude, they're awful. I don't even there. know how to pronounce that. Oh, actually, I should be looking at these these things, right? Because that costs four. That's expensive. An influence times cannon? What is that supposed to mean? Influence. Place oh, an influence cube I and then it. times cannon? I needed that because I got two cannons ready to go. Like, have you played, if you play any gunners? Well, no, that's at level two. Let me see if the rule book can give me any insight into the times. So, icon cross I times icon. You gain the thing on the left of the X for each instance on this card of the thing on the right of the X. 
So in the example, uh, you would get um, more influence. There are three cannons on this card. Three. Place one influence for each cannon on that card. I see. Damn. So that's why when I leveled up, my, I didn't level up my gunner. I switched it to a, a fuck. Um. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy it. You get four barrels. Get that. And then... Um, a twofer. Are there any twos? Nope. Uh, one. I'll come over here. Buy this for one. And I will place down an influence. Nice. That's well, that's going to go oh, here that's what get first. Replaced with there. Yeah, it doesn't get replaced yet. No, it's at the end of turn, yeah, yeah. but he's right. That's what I'm just trying to. Okay, let's just put that for right now. <gasps> okay, so uh, the sales go to zero. And is that, is that all? Move, yeah, buy advances, uh, load and unload, play cards, set sail. Yep, refill advances. So we did that, and then choose pirate or mercantile, lose unspent sails, sleeve advances, make up, keep one, discard all cards and play. Okay, uh, my turn is over. It's back to Ray. Are we going to keep going from this point? Yeah, I, actually, hold on. You're right. Let's stop here, and then let me... Um, for me? No. No. I spit on your grave. <laughs> We're communist pirates. Our booty. <laughs> it's not your booty. Our seven C. That is yep. community yep. booty. Yep. Ain't that right, OJ? Community. <laughs> it's in college. Two, three, four. Oh, you know what? Everyone know booty like that. <laughs> like the that first piece of bread in the loaf. <laughs> Everyone's touched it. No one wants it. But no it. one really wants it. <laughs> it's a placeholder. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now. From what I understand, one thing we all forgot to do at the end of our turn, wasn't it something about upgrading one of your base crew? See, I keep thinking That's you have to pay for That's an off-turn level that. up. I don't, we don't know how that works. Where is that listed? Uh, in the, it just says turn level, level up. up. Yeah. Weird. Let me uh, find that in the rule book first. I need a power-up prenup. <laughs> Leveling. After your turn is hey, finished, at any point before the start of your next turn, you may level up one sailor card in your hand. Normally, you will do this while other players are taking turns in your hand. So, oh, so not it one it's not the turn. ones that you played. It's, one of it's new ones of the ones that you... It's one of the four that you just drew. Normally, you will do this while other players are taking their turns. You can even do this in response to being attacked by an opponent before the combat is resolved. If you haven't leveled up a card before the start of your next turn, do it before taking your next turn. To level a Sailor card, move, remove the ability card, turn it around, or flip it when going from level 2 to 3, then re-sleeve it so that it's now visible. Okay, so that's why I would, pro I would wait on my gunner. Well, let's try this and see what it does. It's Ooh. Can we figure <laughs> out what the, uh, the uh, wheel, navigation wheel does? No, it's an icon that other things use. Oh. We haven't run into other things. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, we do one for free. So I was looking down here to see what I could. The example. This ability provides a benefit described based on the number of wheels. So if you'll find uh, draw cards X times the number of, it's a little white card with a wheel on it. So the benefit of this <laughs> is if you had two wheels, then you would gain two cards. So let me set it up. <laughs> okay, and hold on. I think because 
Alex explored and Ray explored. I think you, I think you get that. Oh yeah, here. Oh, that's right. We get a navigation token. No, that's when you achieve it. Give me one box. Hmm. Not Ray because he didn't explore. Yeah, it's just Joe oh, and right, right, uh, right. Alex that did that. I think. I was just first out of the box. I feel you. Yeah. All right, and I think that's it. So I'll go ahead and restart the stream, and we can begin. Builder, Terror of the Sea, Explore. The number of ocean boards you need to explore in order to meet the requirements for this achievement is dependent on the number of players. Explore three spaces. Each time you explore an ocean board, place one of your cubes here. Once you've explored. <coughs> Okay, uh, we will start now. Hey, chat. This game is so good. Have you played it before? Hope you guys like it. All right, we're about to start our stream. We will reset our stream and just uh, um, so just reload the stream here, and we'll begin the game. <laughs> 